There are lots of reasons to update to the current version of Open Dental, but one of them is so you can get the new ADA codes that are active now in 2019. When you do the updates, really easy, just go to the help button here and go to update and then check for updates. Okay, and you this is the one you always want to install. Whatever one is in the second position here. Stay away from the beta version down here. But this is the one you typically want to install. And you can see here this is 18347 and I'm on 18341, so I'm a little bit behind. If you go to lists procedures and then look down here at this tools button. Now you got another fee tools button over on the right hand side. That's not the one we want to use. We want to use this tools button over here. And when we click on that you get this window and it's usually already set up this way. You want to update your D codes only. So we updated Open Dental, then we went to that tools button and clicked on that. It added the new codes and it moved the obsolete codes to the obsolete category. Let's take a look at the occlusal splint for example. That's a 9940. That's the old code. So you can see it's in the obsolete category. Now often the obsolete category is hidden so you can't find this code. That's actually a good thing because you don't want people to use a code that's obsolete. In this case I don't have that category hidden so I can still find it. Here's my old code down here that's obsolete, which may be hidden, but it had a fee. These new codes that were added do not have a fee, so don't forget to go in and put in a fee in there, not only for your UCR fee, but also for any insurance companies uh, that you're contracted with. So again, there's three different new codes in there, and add the fees. The other thing to be aware of is you can still use that old code depending upon how your system is set up. For example, if we go in and want to make an appointment for Donald, I've moved it up to the top so you can see it, if it's in one of these quick add buttons, it still works. Okay, even though it's hidden and even though it's obsolete, and even though if you build the insurance company for it, they won't pay it it's still in there and it's still possible to use it. So you need to go in and make changes in here. The other place that it may show up is in the chart with your chart buttons. So here I've still got a clusal splint here. This is a different place. I need to change it again to get it out of there because I can still use it. In this case it's going to prompt me for the arch. So kind of take a look at everywhere if you've set this occlusal splint up, this old code for the occlusal splint in there. Take a look around and see where it may be set up in quick buttons uh, or in the chart. And don't forget to add the fees for the new occlusal splint codes. One additional thing to be aware of, we're beginning to bill more to medical. And if you're already using the medical cross-coding, particularly for occlusal splints, then you need to change this also. So if we go back here, we look at our occlusal splint code, you can see we've got a medical cross-code in here. So when we bill medical for this patient, instead of using this procedure code, which we wouldn't want to use because it's obsolete, we use the medical code. Don't forget to go in for the new occlusal splint codes and put the correct cross coding for medical in there. Another change you need to make with the new ADA codes.